welcome back to my channel. I am popping in the front of this video real quick to say it is my son's 10th birthday. Happy birthday, Cody. So today's recipe video is vegan brookies. These are dairy-free, egg-free, um, and soy-free actually. So if you're soy sensitive, these will be good for you. Um, but I made these as Cody's school treat. So I'm on my way to deliver this tray full of goodness to my son's fourth grade classroom. He's actually in a STEM school. So it's a fourth and fifth grade classroom. I had to make 45 treats because in STEM school, fourth and fifth grade are together. So I made these vegan brookies. It was super easy, two nine by 13 pans. And that is something I'd actually change. I would do it in eight by eight pans. Um, they were a little gooey in the middle still, which I like, but I didn't want to send to the classroom. Um, so if you do anything different in this recipe, I highly recommend using an eight by eight, not a nine by 13. But otherwise this recipe is really good. Um, it's a great birthday treat. It would make a great holiday treat, great addition to like Christmas cookie platters, all of that. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and let's get into it. All right, so before we really get started, pause this video and get yourself a pen and paper. You're gonna wanna write this down. All right, so now that you have your pen and paper, we're gonna start with two cups of coconut oil and a couple tablespoons of vegan butter, and we're just gonna melt that in a pan. And then to that, I'm gonna add four cups of brown sugar, one cup of almond milk, and about a quarter cup of vanilla extract. And then we are just gonna mix this together gently until it's all melted nicely together. Now I'm using a really big pan here, but this recipe is one you can definitely cut in half or even in quarters, and then you could use a smaller pan. But you'll see in a minute why I use such a big pan. So once everything looks glossy and smooth, that's when it's done, and we're gonna move on to some dry ingredients. So for my dry ingredients, I have eight cups of flour, and to that, I'm gonna add four teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. So we're just gonna mix this in. You can sift it if you want. I don't really think it's super necessary. I just whisk it well with a fork until everything is just super well incorporated and mixed. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start gradually adding my dry mixture into my pan for my wet mixture. You'll find that this is gonna make more of a blondy texture of a dough and not a cookie dough texture. Um, that's gonna keep it from burning in the oven when you're baking it. It also gives it this really dense, caramely, delicious flavor profile. You guys, these were to die for. So I'm gradually mixing it in. I started with a whisk, but I actually ended up using a wooden spoon to complete the mixture. But I definitely re recommend starting with the whisk to get rid of the clumps in the beginning. And once it's all mixed and incorporated, your dough is gonna look like this. So now we wanna add our chocolate chips. We're gonna add about a cup and a third of vegan chocolate chips and just mix those in. I know it's tempting to add extra chocolate, but you guys, this is a really rich recipe. Don't do it. So then once it's mixed, we're gonna spread this out in two nine by 13 pans. Again, if I were to make this again, I would use eight by eight pans, um, but you can do whatever you'd like. I like to line my pans with parchment because it just makes it easier to take everything out. So we're gonna par bake these cookies in my preheated oven. That's at 350 degrees, and then we are gonna move on to the brownie layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do for my brownie layer is melt my chocolate chips. I have three cups of vegan chocolate chips, and I'm gonna put them in the microwave at 30 second increments, stirring in between. It'll take about three or four cycles until the chocolate chips look like this. It'll look like you still have some whole ones, but once you mix it together, it all gets really glossy and smooth. You do not want to overcook your chocolate. Burned chocolate is just not delicious, y'all. So make sure it's all melted. 
and then set this to the side to cool down just a little bit while we work on our dry ingredients. So for my dry ingredients, I have four cups of all-purpose flour, and to that I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. I'm gonna add six tablespoons of cocoa powder. I was on the struggle bus with sugar here. I'm also gonna add four teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. And we're gonna mix this together until it's well mixed and you can't tell the difference between the flour and the cocoa powder. Again, I'm just using my fork, but you could sift it. So now that it's mixed, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. We have a cup of oil and three cups of almond milk. And then we're also gonna add our slightly cooled melted chocolate chips. And we're gonna mix this until the batter is consistent and smooth and all well mixed together. In go the chocolate chips. Look how smooth that chocolate is, you guys. It's a dream. And ta-da! We have brownie batter. It's so easy to make it homemade. I don't know why anyone ever uses a box. Now we're just gonna dump half of the brownie batter on each of these par-baked cookies. And we're gonna put these pans into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And then at the very end, I topped it with the Dandies marshmallows. You don't have to do this. I did it because I thought it would be fun for the kids. But here is our finished product. These were really good. I got rave reviews from the kids, from my son. I even got an email from my son's teacher thanking me for the delicious treats and saying how everyone was ooing and eyeing over them. So I highly recommend making these. Let me know in the comments below if you try them or what dessert you would like to see veganized. Make sure if you like this video to comment, like it, and make sure you hit that subscribe button button. If you want to see more of these videos, I'll definitely be making more baked good videos. Thank you all for coming to see my channel today. Enjoy these pictures of my Cody man throughout the years, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.